Hi everybody, I wanted to make a tutorial today to show how to make an RPG style level progression system uh, in the Doom Snap Map. I've seen a couple of tutorials online and they seem to be a little bit more complex than I felt that they really needed to be, so I thought I would try my hand at it and see what I could come up with. And I think I have a system that works really well and is pretty dynamic, so I'll just go ahead and show you how we got there. Um, so I've already set a couple of nodes up, but I'll link them together uh, just to show you how this all works. Um, so we have to start out with an AI proxy node uh, that's going to tell us how we want the demons to react to our player attacks. We have a player proxy node. We're going to start off some integers here. So first thing we want to do is link uh, an unhurt action to our player proxy. And whenever we hurt, we want to give the player score. So this is when we hurt a demon, we're going to give the player some number of points. Um, and we want to go ahead and just drag these a little bit out of the way. Just so you can see a little bit better. Uh, and then whenever we hurt something, we want to give a score of three. And we want to make sure that the activator is the attacker. The person attacking the demon will get the three points. The next thing we want to do is perform an on killed uh, action and link that to our player proxy and we want to give a player score and we want to make this a little bit more interesting so we're going to say you know whenever we perform a non gory kill with the activator of killer the person doing the killing in this case the player uh, we want to then add uh, let's say 20 points uh, onto our player score all right and then whenever we perform a gory kill, we want to do something similar. Again, come into your on killed modifier and then change the cause of death to gory kill. The activator is still killer. And then we want to set um, the score in this case um, to, let's just say, 50. So we'll just change that to 50 points for any gory kill. So that's basically gets all the player the points they need for performing their kills. So then what we want to do is link our player proxy to uh, an integer. So we've made a new variable, an integer, and this is going to be our player level. Um, and what we want to make sure we set up in here is we want the initial value of that to be 1. So we want the player to start at level 1. We want the min value to be, the min value should be 1 as well. Uh, and the max value, uh, just to make this simple for this tutorial, we'll make it 5. So the max levels that the player can get to will be level 5. Uh, we want to then make a new uh, integer. Uh, and this is going to serve then as the level cap. So we go to integer, we add new. And then we want to... Um, make sure that we set this to initial value of, let's, let's do something reasonable uh, that's going to be fairly easy to get to, not too crazy. We're going to set the initial value to 100. It means it's going to take 100 points to get to level 2 from level 1. Um, we want the min value. Min value can be 0. Max value, it can stay the same. That's fine. Um, and then what you want to do is drag your player proxy with an on player score reached modifier to your level and then you want to just add it so we're going to add one each time we reach our player score uh, in this case the target score starts out with a default constant of three so anytime the player would get three points the level would increase but that's not quite what we want so what you need to do is hold down the left trigger you see the menu changes hit square uh, to change to swap the variable or constant and we want to use the variable that uh, links to our level cap uh, in this case, it's integer 1. Uh, so we're going to save that. So anytime we reach the level cap that starts off at 100, we would effectively increase our player's level. Uh, in this case, it increases by factor 1 every time. So we just go up 1 point every single time. Uh, and then to make this a little bit harder, we want to link this on player score reach back to our uh, level cap. And we're going to multiply each time we reach our level cap, we multiply it by 2. Uh, you can multiply by anything you want, make it as hard, uh, as easy as you want to. It gives you a little bit more flexibility, but in this case, we're going to go from 100 points to 200 to 400 to 800 and so on for every level that we increase, which is based on the score that we get from killing all these demons. So that is how we would set up 
you know, the actual leveling system. Over here I've set up a couple of nodes um, that correspond to each of the levels. And here we have uh, our players. So what I like to do is um, whenever we start the player we've made all these nice things. So we want to link them to a set of HUD settings that we can then call so we can see what we you know want to see. So for instance we want to see uh, a, the, the level that we're currently at. So make sure you select the variable. And in this case, uh, integer zero is our level. And uh, we also want to see in the top right, we want to see how many points it's going to take to get to the next level. So then select variable again, go to integer one, which is our level cap. And finally at the bottom, we want to see how many points or XP we have currently uh, on our way to the next level. So then in the bottom, we're going to change it to score because the score is effectively what we are using as XP in this case. And then uh, we have an on map start, and I like to do a couple of things like make it so you know the scoring is kind of turned off um, by default on this because so, we're using our own scoring system. So I just turn it off uh, whenever the map starts. Uh, and then I like to uh, you know make it so we're hiding things like you know the the score numbers that show up and the damage numbers. Just keep those out of the player's view. So that's just another thing that that I kind of like to have um, whenever I start my games since we have our own scoring system and then the final thing whenever we start our map is we need to have some enemies so I just created a wave node out here survival event um, so we're going to start that and then this uh, event just uh, runs for 60 seconds and it's not locked down or anything it starts at difficulty of one and that's just so we can get some enemies so we can see how all of this stuff works um, the other thing that I like to do uh, whenever I start one of these, just so we can progress the levels a bit, is I like to start with a player loadout for my character. And I like to say, whenever my character spawns, I want to give a loadout that basically has just the shotgun in it. So we're going to turn off things like double jump and grabbing ledges and no other weapons, no grenades, anything like that. So basically when the character spawns in, he starts with nothing. But say we get to level 2 and we want to give our character the ability to double jump. Well, I've set up these nodes already over here where we compare an integer, and then we, ultimately if the integers are equal on the left hand and right hand side, we're going to uh, give the double jump ability. So I want to create my test here, I want to link that, and then what you want to do is go into your comparison. Right now the left hand side is set to zero, but uh, what you need to do is again hold the left trigger and then hit the button to uh, swap your variable or constant and we want to go to uh, what our level is. So we want to say whenever we reach our score and we get to level 2 and our level is equal to 2, we want to then give uh, a loadout that's going to have a double jump uh, enabled on it. And then what I also like to do, because so, there can be a weird bug if you don't, um, is I like to set the input delay on this to one second. So a second after it's evaluated to true, you will get your loadout. Um, and then I like to link, so I have the same thing for level three. And again, change the, the side over here so that we're reading from our current level and the right hand side is three. So when we get to level three, we're going to give a loadout that then has double jump enabled and grenades are enabled. So we give a little bit more to our character that basically started with nothing. So now that we have our system set up in place here, let's go ahead and try it out and see how this uh, actually works. And what I like about this is it's really dynamic, so you can tweak various things, make the leveling go up uh, how high you want and how fast you want, and then do various things on, on top of all this. So our demons are spawning, you can see we're level one in the corner. Uh, we have 100 points to go to get to the next level, and we have zero points for that. So we'll go ahead and shoot that guy, get some points. Right. Almost to the next level, gonna gory kill this dude to get even more points. We've gotten to level 2. Now, I have the double jump ability. But let's go to level 3 just to make sure here. Alright, and now I have grenades. So you can see how simple all of this uh, actually ends up being to make a really nice uh, 
leveling system so you can do various things and you can add like you know if you wanted the ability to make enemies harder uh, give yourself uh, armor things like that you could do them all off of this on player score reached modifier um, another thing that I like to do is add in things like messages or sounds whenever I've reached a level so we're going to just make a quick uh, sound that's going to play whenever we reach a level um, Access play this. Denied. And Access. we'll just, Access. you know, you can change it to whatever you want. We'll just change it to something Demon. simple. Demon. We'll just change it to demon. Um, and one of the things to demon. keep note of is whenever you set these up, you want to change the activator to display to the, the activator only. Change the, the property of the node to display to the activator only. And that way, whenever you level up or you do anything, it is going to only happen for the person that was doing the killing so on so nobody else has to hear that you know you got to whatever level if you have multiple people in your level uh, so that is really it in here it's just I mean this simple over here to create a nice easy level progression system that's really dynamic so I hope um, you know somebody learned something from this and if anybody wants to see anything else like this I would love to to do a lot more of these. I love the the Doom Snap Map editor, so I would love to do more videos like this if it can be of any help to anybody else. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching, guys.